In this video, I will explain how to create a high-spec UVI Falcon sampling-based library with custom GUI, velocity layers, round-robin, and key switches. First, create an empty program and save it. Create the performance view. Set the width to 720 pixels and the height to 480 pixels. Save it as main.lua in the program folder. However, it is not displayed in info tab. It needs the make performance view command. Next, draw the background panel. Copy the background image file in the program folder. Specify the background image in the script. It's working fine. Next, prepare sample files. In this video, I do not explain the audio editor software operation in detail. Use your favorite software. Normalize level, name each region, and export samples. Map the exported sample files into Falcon. If the sample file contains beat information, the slice node will be added. Change the slice nodes to the sample nodes. Kalimba library should not stop release on node off. So change the playback mode of each sample to one shot. Implement the velocity layer. Currently, the sound is the same when you hit the keyboard hard or soft.
set the velocity layer. Then different samples will be played according to the velocity. These also change the playback mode to one shot. Different samples have played according to the velocity. Next, implement the reverb effect. Make the mix level parameter controllable with GUI. Let the mix parameter change if the knob is turned. Next, customize the reverb knob. In Falcon, you cannot create custom knobs using image file with the official API. Customize knob color and size in the script. You can also use the alpha channel. It's working fine. Implement the round robin. The round robin plays multiple samples alternately to provide natural randomized sounds. There are several ways to implement a round robin. This time, I will implement it by the script. Locate samples into RR1 layer and RR2 layer. In, on note, callback, play only one layer. 
Switch the target layer each time note played. It's working fine. Implement detune function. Create the detune knob. Declare an array to store the detune value for each note. Let the tune array change when detune knob operated. Change the pitch with the change tune command. Finally, implement key switches to allow you to change the articulation between normal play and glissando. Create the glissando layer and locate the samples into there. Declare variables for key switches. Change the color of the keyboard. The KS mode variable specifies which layer is selected to play. Now it's complete. <laughs> 